Hey people, how are you all doing on this glorious Thursday evening? It has been red hot for a good couple of days now. Yes, it has. Um, I've just got the points in my condenser and what else have I got? i got new leads and i got a dizzy cap. And I'm going to try and put this on this um, this little Morris engine to see if it'll start. Um, as you can tell, I had spark here, I had spark here. Right. But then this is just completely disintegrated and the wire that comes into here from the coil that just yeah so i'm going to swap all this out hopefully and just remember to put things where they need to be so i'm going to put it all back together i've been on a certain club that i've just joined called ratmogs yes and they've kindly told me the firing order. Not that you can't find out on Google, but you know, a real person told me that. That's all that off. That's that off. That's that off. So I've got the firing order. I've got everything I need to do, um, and hopefully, this is going to spark and fire off. The missus has just smashed that floor. In. That's I smashed mine last week as well. I'm gonna find out what I'm gonna do. See, if you can see, I've scraped around there just so I can line them up. Hopefully, they'll be more or less the same position. So I've got a rough idea, yeah, of where it goes. Fingers crossed. Now, hopefully, if I got the crank on. Wait, here goes nothing. <laughs> that ran. That ran. Right, so I managed to get the fire off. I done it with my hand over the inlet, bit of brake cleaner, and she fired and she ran. <laughs> I had to take the carb off because the carb, as you can probably see, is a tad bit solid. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> it's even melted the top of there. But it unscrews, look. And it's still got oil in. <laughs> I don't think the plunger's moving. 
But there's nothing to these carburetors. They're very, very straightforward. So I'm going to take this tube off here at the bottom. We'll check in there in the float in the bowl. And we'll see if we can get this mechanism to move because as you can see the only part in fact no I can't get the throttle is that the throttle? No, nope, throttle won't move. I managed to get the choke and move a bit. Oh there, there we go. So there's the chokes are read, but this main throttle is absolutely yeah, rock solid. So I'm gonna take it out of the bit, give it a clean up, put it back in the car, add some fuel, maybe it's a fuel pump, and see what it does, eh? Because I've got it running, it fired, that's all that matters to me. If it fired off just off that, then it'll run off that. <laughs> um, I'm not planning on keeping the engine, I just wanted the peace of mind that it ran. And it runs. It's a happy tears. Too bad. Ooh. And most of the carbs are pretty mad. Get this bubble off. Need that plate. I thought the boat friggin' spun off. I am. Right, I'm going to run 13. It's warm the view league. You probably can't even see what I'm doing with the zone. But here you go. Right. Put that casket there. It's a little bit crispy. And it's absolutely yummy. Right. Take that boat. Oh, can't now. Stay in there, I'm not fucking about that. What we're reckoning in here. I'm going absolutely disgusting, man. Gets totally and utterly shot. That's the only one I've got. Stinks. 
de la Garp. Yeah. I'll check the floor, see whether it holds what up. Right, a little bit out. Down, that's that, that's that. That's that. Do you want to see what's in here? Ready? See if I can get the butterfly off there. Because that's actually not sure what it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. What I'll do is take that off. I won't give it a clean to make sure it's coming out of there. That's a 12 pipe. You so many different bloody sizes. No, British engineering is finest. Oh, we've got a load of them nuts there. We'll use them. Time for a cup of tea? Yes, it is. Now, will that come off there? Come on, come on, cock yeah. Right, there's a little clip I just noticed. It goes on there like that. So, is it a butterfly? Can we get it to loosen off? So I've just put the card back together. I've left all of that off for the minute because I can just put fuel in the bowl and it should run off that quick squirt and it should fire off. Let's give it a go. So, happy days, people. It ran. <laughs> um, that's all I wanted to prove. I just wanted to prove it run. I actually found out it hadn't been running for nearly 44 years. That's 1979 when it caught fire. So, that's not bad going, considering 
I don't think anybody's ever attempted to have a go at it because I had to take all the harnesses out and whatnot and they were all just completely melted. So I got some advice of how to hot wire it. Um, I found the firing order. I bought a new points condenser, a dizzy cap and some leads and I think it was probably about 20 quid. Um, I cleaned out the carburetor. The actual pin that goes across the, the butterfly that was stiff and as I turned it, it snapped. But I managed to keep it in a certain position so I knew there was enough air going into the rivet and I could control it with my hand. So I know it runs. I hadn't put the advance on, the vacuum for the advance. Um, but as far as I can see, it's all doing what it needs to do. <laughs> so I've proved that the engine runs now. Happy days. So engines for sale. If you know anybody wants one, gearbox seems to go into gear and do what it needs to do. I haven't tried driving it because um, the clutch pedal's stiff as a buggery and I don't want to force it. And I don't want to crash into whatever's part of my drive because it's got no brakes at all. So all the running gear and that's now for sale as well. But uh, I just want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to all my subscribers. Get the word out there. Yeah. Get some more. Comment like share subscribe i want to thank you for watching and thank you yeah for your comments as well and thank you for your help it's just daft little things um that have helped me along the way so to say enjoy the rest of your weekend and god bless man happy days. <laughs>